Okay, so now we are in InfraWorks, and um, I just really want to get this uh, geometry out of here. So what I'm going to do is just come up to here with this tools and say export 3D model, uh, do the entire model on the extent, change the user defined and remove. That's just the offset and max from zero, so no need for a decimal. And then do multiple files and set your location. Um, and then keep these checked and that's fine. Press export. And miraculously, we are done with InfoWorks. So let me just drag Max over here. All right, so in Max now, I'm going to import that data, the data. It's Glenwood Canyon, not Glen Canyon. So let's do ground. And all that's fine. <clears throat> and so, in just a second here, you're going to see something. All right, so there is the, um, there is the model, but you can see there's some not cool stuff going on. So fortunately, we have a little fix for this. And uh, no dummies. All right. So just to make sure, I'm going to change my filter to geometry there. And then, so there's three scripts you're going to be running. Not that one. Uh, the first one is going to be this fixed InfraWorks mesh. Um, and what that is looking for is a, it's got to fix all the textures and create new ones. So it's looking for a path where you want those new textures to go. And Diamond Glen Canyon. So let's just open that up here. Documents, documents. Doc, oh, no, no. Doc, almost there. And then G. All right, and it works. All right, so here's all the textures, and I'm just going to take and delete them all. So you can see now they're all gone out of this folder. I have this folder specified as the new path. And it uh, fix multi is true, yes. Clean bitmaps, true, yes. Set material, true, yes. Don't do these other two unless you actually have bump maps created, which not a terrible idea for me to do right now, but I won't, even though I want to. Okay, so I'm going to run this. Select, is it select everything? No, it's just geometry. So it's just going to cycle through all the geometry in your scene. So I'll do that, Control E. You don't even have to have anything selected, it looks like. And it just takes, doesn't take long at all. And you'll see here that our scene is now populated with new textures, which is awesome. And uh, it fixed all of the black ugly tiles here. All right, so from here, uh, super easy. And you can see that this is uh, 5.6 million triangles. I should put on my glasses. <clears throat> 5.6 million triangles. Um, and that is, not triangles, polys. And that is a lot, but it's not um, undoable. So anyway, from there, I just select that guy and um, go Stingray and level send selected. Of course, you have to have a Stingray level created for that to happen. But um, fortunately, I did, and so it just... Uh, took and sent it into my Stingray folder. And uh, that is really it to get the data in. And then, you know, once it's in, we can stock, start talking about creating functionality for it. So anyway, I hope that helps and bye.